What's up, beautiful people? It's your friend, Jonathan, and I'm coming to you to share, uh, with my quarantine beard with me, to share a story real quick about a situation that could have gone bad based on an emotional reaction from me that I didn't give. One, I exor- one I, Basically, what I'm going to do is share with you how I exercised self-control, sales, and a little bit of finesse to get a refund from an Airbnb host for a trip that was supposed to take place at the very end of April that is not taking place. COVID-19, not flying, canceled my flight, canceled this trip. When I first found out that, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel my Airbnb trip, let me give you some context. I'm going to an entrepreneurial type of conference that I love to go to each year. It's called Thrive, Make Money Matter. And I was, it's in Vegas. So this year I wanted to go big. I'm not really going on a lot of trips this year, just kind of working, 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 getting the finances right and doing that kind of thing. Wanted to take one big trip though for the year. So we booked a penthouse at like, I think it was like the 29th floor of the MGM Grand uh, or MGM Signature, which is like across the street from the Grand. And it was super nice, right? So you can imagine the price tag was ding, 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 nice and high. Only trip I'm really taking all year, so I said, you know what, let me splurge a little bit, splitting it with a buddy, uh, the cost. And so that said, COVID-19 comes around, I'm like, oh, no problem, the the host will give me a refund, I'm sure, right? Because here's what you have to do with Airbnb, you have to post a 50% payment the day of your booking to reserve the spot. And Airbnb's refund policy sucks, it's horrible, so... They need to get their act together. It's really obnoxious. And if you're an Airbnb host, I get it. Like, I know it, it's fair that you keep a service fee if somebody cancels last minute because that takes your booking off the market for those dates. I get it. So if it was my property, I understand a service fee. But the uh, 50% refund BS credit thing was weird going on. So what happened with COVID-19? I reached out to the host. I literally just submit a cancellation, putting the reason as coronavirus. Like, duh, no one's going to be traveling across the country and stay in your freaking place. The coronavirus is going on, right? So I go back on, <coughs> this is where it gets, this gets really good. I go I go back uh, like the next day and I look and they, they denied, yes, they denied my cancellation uh, refund request because Airbnb put it to you like this. Hey, if you're canceling due to coronavirus, click here. These are your options. One, you can get a 50% refund for your booking and then you're out the other 50 percent just gone and imagine if you had an expensive booking for multiple days and nights and you prepaid 50 percent of it and now they're literally telling you here are your options 50 percent of that which you already paid everyone in airbnb side of things is going to keep that and you can get a cash refund for the second payment or you can request the cancellation as a credit for airbnb so you can cancel it, but get a credit. I'm like, I don't know if I want that much credit on sitting on Airbnb, just give me my my money back so that when I'm ready to go purchase cash, I can use my money and just get it. I don't need Airbnb sitting. I don't need a huge credit sitting on Airbnb. So I was a little flustered. I was a little annoyed, but I was thinking, Hey, what's the big deal? The people are going to clearly give me a refund. No one's no one's that sick in the head that they're going to say no to a refund at this time. This was like right when quarantine was like a real thing for about six or seven days. Right. So they were, they denied my request for a refund. They denied it. They freaking denied it. And I saw this. I kid you not. Uh, My initial reaction, like my gut turned a little. I was like, wow, you're disgusting. Like some people really disgust me. This is gross. G-R-O-S-S. Gross. (laughs) There's no other explanation. And then it kind of hit me that trickled down like, how does somebody do this to other humans? And it hit me because they're a super host on Airbnb, by the way, which means they're really good. The, pro- the property is always clean. They're responsive. They're kind. They're you know probably fairly generous with the people who stay there. And it's an expensive penthouse. So I was like, this is no way that they're going to be this rude. And it's actually owned by people. It's not um, it's not a property management um, thing. So they own it, um, as far as I can tell. And so. I was surprised, right? And I wanted to get super mad and just freak out and call Airbnb and be like, yo, how do I leave a one star even though I didn't take the trip? But I was like, that doesn't accomplish anything. So I I went on the next day and I tried to get in contact with Airbnb service. 
and it basically said, hey, if you're calling for any reasons pertaining to the coronavirus, please be patient. We got a lot of backlog going on kind of thing. If you can't get us, try back. So I forget about this, right, for like two weeks. I'm like, whatever. I just put it out of my mind. I see my email last night, and it's a receipt confirmation of the second 50% of the payment for this trip. Because I guess I never like fully was okay with the options of, hey, get half your money back or, hey, uh, get a full credit for Airbnb sitting on our account so you spend it with us when whenever you want to use Airbnb again, which at this point I was like, no, no thanks. So I never did it. So what happened is the auto payment, which they had pre-notified pre, pre me that it's going to happen, like the other 50% of the payment's going to come out. Dude, so I go on to... Uh, the receipt last night and I canceled the booking and get an immediate refund on the second payment because it was also a lot of money and I was like no way this isn't happening so uh, here's what I'm sh making this video for is to hopefully spread some encouragement and tell you no matter what you're um, if you're dealing with anything that you had to cancel or like people are being weird or charging you unfairly something like that right you need to use emotional intelligence in this situation and here's what i did last night i'm going to read you the message that i sent the host is a couple i guess lewis and marie and uh shout out to them if they ever somehow see this i don't think they would ever see this but um i'm not thrilled because they basically didn't deny that they had so here, here let me get let me go back here's what happened I messaged them last night at like 1 a.m. because I got so hot when I saw the email for the second payment. I was already PO'd. I was like, dude, I need to get these people a one star and somehow get people to never stay at these jerks place who didn't give me a refund during Corona freaking virus. What kind of tools do that? So here's what happened. I send them an email. I say <clears throat> on Airbnb's messenger last night at 1 a.m. Here's what it said. Here's what it said. Notice the verbiage in this. It says, hi, <laughs> I misspelled one of the names. So and says, your place looks great, but due to COVID-19, capitalize that to show that I truly believe this is a serious pandemic, which it is. Um, the event was canceled, which I previously mentioned to them I was coming to their place to stay for, for the reservation dates, and I cannot travel out there. It was rescheduled for this fall, comma, and I plan to attend. I previously requested a full refund, which you promptly denied. I admit I was surprised but could not fault you as we are in fearful times as a society, comma, and strictly speaking, comma, it is your right to deny a refund. That said, comma, I am asking once more for you to kindly consider, kindly, oh. <laughs> refunding this reservations inside. I'm like trying not to punch a hole through my computer screen, right? I'm like, you pieces of work. Uh, strictly speaking, comma, it's your right to deny your full, uh, to deny a refund. <clears throat> I'm getting annoyed reading this. That said, I am asking once more for you to kindly consider refunding this reservation as I will not and did not take this trip. The only business we did together sent one as the only business we did together sent one message back and forth aside from my initial deposit. If you are able to honor this request, I will stay at your place in the fall and will look forward to it. If not, comma, I regretfully will not stay. I doubt you really care as it is an epic spot that I'm sure many others will gladly book. But I believe you reap what you sow. I hope you will do the right thing. Regards, Jonathan. This email got me a refund. I'm serious. So check it out. They responded today. They said, hi, Jonathan. <clears throat> I'm sorry we refused your refund request in the past, comma. It depends on when you did it, but the situation has been evolving daily. Yeah, for all of us, coronavirus. I suppose at the time we didn't know, but now it does appear clear that a full refund is best. That's fair. That's fair. Give her that. That's a good point. Anyhow, stay safe and all the best, Marie. So again, shout out to how they handled this. They didn't get emotional. They didn't get snooty or snotty. They straight up was business. They could tell I was keeping it business. I'm so glad I asked again. Here's the thing. When you feel like you're getting ripped off, take the proactive approach. Like 
I could have gotten really, really pissed and just been like, you guys is, you guys are scumbags for not refunding me initially with the coronavirus. Like, what's wrong with you? You're bad people. They would have read that message. It goes directly to them. And Airbnb is an app, so they pretty much would have pulled it up like a text if they did it through their phone. That said, that wouldn't have accomplished much. And threatening people does not make anyone want to help or be generous. The key in this message that I sent to them, I think, is the fact that I alluded to the fact that I was livid by saying... I believe you reap what you sow. I hope you will do the right thing. That's really coded. That's like, you're a jerk if you don't refund me. And we both know it because it's a fact, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, taking a step back, yes, it's fully their right to say no to a refund if Airbnb allows it, which I'm sure is in the fine print when I signed up initially. Fair. The other thing was, again, all this really only mattered this much to me because the principle and also it was a lot of money. So two things for me, like values being violated strongly which are principles and values and i just was like not okay with it so i'm not saying you can like assert your will and things will happen however i am saying to take the proactive approach and watch what happens it may work out so i i I literally put the ball in their court i basically came to them with clear confident request clear to the point and also let them know like i get it if you don't it's your right to say no so i'm basically get letting them off of the hook and i'm also telling them we didn't do any business together though. So you know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you refund me? The only thing, and here's the thing why I wouldn't have faulted them if they were like, Hey, we can't refund you, whatever. I would have been ticked, but I wouldn't have faulted them is because I don't know how Airbnb pays people out. I don't know as hosts, if they were charged anything in this transaction where I paid a deposit initially, which I really don't think they would have been charged anything. The only downside was that um, I booked this in mid-January for, I booked the dates in mid-January. So between mid-January to whenever coronavirus became a thing, like where people weren't leaving their homes, which I guess would have been mid-February, maybe late February at at most, um, they may have missed out on somebody wanting to book it for April. But that's the thing. It's April now, so even if someone else had booked it for those dates that I booked it for, the end of this month into the first couple days of May, it wouldn't have mattered because they would have canceled too. So I didn't cause them to lose anything. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if Airbnb cash allows them to cash out the 50% deposit initially. It kind of makes me think that, yeah, after 15 business days or so, Airbnb says, here's the first half of your payment for this stay. So I have a few people I know who have Airbnbs, so I can ask them. If you have one or you know the answer to this, you feel free to comment. I mean, I don't really care. Either way, it is a crazy time in society. It is a fearful time. They're hustlers. They're on Airbnb, like in a good way, I think. They're probably grinding. They probably both work jobs. Like they have an Airbnb. Maybe they have multiple Airbnbs. They are a super host on here, so that's reflective of like a lot of hard work on their part. So they're not like bad people. Clearly, I respect their grind and their hustle. Um, and so if they were hurting and they got that cashed out to them already and me requesting a refund caused them to literally have to give it back out of pocket, I wouldn't even have been like, you know, I wouldn't even have been that that's where I was trying to understand logically, like in the initial initially how they couldn't have refunded it. Um, but in their message and my, to, um, in their response message today when they said um, they didn't know at the time as the situation has been evolving daily. Like that's, that's, that, that doesn't really let them off the hook either. So they didn't deny that they denied my refund. They said, sorry, we refused your refund request in the past. It depends on when you did it, but the situation has been evolving daily. But like, here's the thing. I initially said because of coronavirus, I'm not comfortable to come out to Vegas from the East coast to stay at this place during these dates. So I don't care if it was evolving daily and coronavirus ev- evaporated overnight. I already requested to cancel this and you said no. And they didn't message me either. They never said like, hey, is, hey, let's wait this out. Like, let's see. They just said no to my refund request, which, you know, I'm just saying from a customer's point of view, that's not the move. And I can't blame them. And I didn't in the moment. I was like, are you serious? But then I realized, hey, maybe they already cashed out this payment in their bank account this is cash to them at this point so to request this much money back is actually significant you know so that said i didn't fault them as in that regard but i still didn't appreciate it uh and with the refund that they did give me they sent me an additional refund so airbnb's policy is 
you can get a 50% refund minus the service fee. Um, so I'm out of pocket right now. I'm at a loss even with them refunding me the amount that they did. I'm still out of pocket about $82 with tax because they freaking Airbnb tax put tax on the service fee, which was really high for the days that I was staying there. And there's like an $82 service fee that I asked them. I also said, uh, you know, can you help me understand what this remaining amount is for? I think it's Airbnb withholding that as a service fee. Um, that said, I may be able to get in touch with Airbnb customer service, but I kind of doubt they're going to be real helpful. I, I could be wrong. Hey, I could be dead wrong. They might be cool. That said, I wanted to share this with you guys. Use emotional intelligence. Don't get emotional. Don't react. And you will be fine. Like this situation really surprised me, but I was very proud of that message that I sent last night because I told them what I wanted, why I wanted it. And I was clear and succinct. And I felt that I did the right um, thing in asking again kind of alluding to the, I, I straight up told them, I won't take this trip to your spot if you don't give me a refund uh, in the fall, even though I really wanted to. Um, and so at this point, I'm still torn. I don't appreciate that they didn't initially just give a refund immediately. So I'm not going to stay here in the fall, more than likely, especially now that it required me to do this much work. Um, just messaging them it wasn't a lot of work, but I'm not happy with Airbnb at all right now. So uh, that said, Appreciate the guests doing their part and being understanding and refunding me that amount of money. Uh, appreciate the service of Airbnb because straight up it is a service that otherwise I wouldn't be able to leverage. So it's an amazing opportunity. Don't get me wrong. I've stayed in multiple Airbnbs across the U.S., San Francisco. I stayed in an RV Airbnb. I stayed in an Airbnb, uh, I think, yeah, in Vegas before. Um, I've stayed in Airbnb like all over. So I, I have nothing against the, like the concepts. Awesome. I think it's a really cool opportunity. Uh, but yeah, you can tell I, I got pretty heated on this. Um, but again, that message, I think the keys to getting the refund really come to, came down to them seeing the light, I guess, in terms of like, what's the right thing to do here. Um, but again, I didn't, I, I think by, I think it's okay to say, I hope you will do the right thing. That's framing it in the sense of like, we both know what the right thing is because we didn't do any business together. It's a little annoying and coded and like assumptive, which I don't really like when people message me in that regard. But at this point it was one in the morning and I was ticked and I was trying to just be like, Hey, straight up, do the right thing. Come on. You know, like it, it, it's almost like everyone thinks, I don't, I don't know. That's not a good analogy, but wanted to share this with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Again, it violated a principle, it violated a value of mine. So, always see, uh, I, I mean, uh, basically at the end of the day, I lose 80 something dollars. <laughs> so it's not, it's not really like a happy ending, but um, I'm surprised to be honest. I'm really surprised that they pushed that through. So again, I, I, I really feel like it'd be so easy for me to have reacted and said, hey, give me my money back, you jerks. But that wouldn't have worked. Again, it puts people on the defensive, like what's your problem, back off, no way, dig their heels in, versus initially telling them, hey, it's your right to deny a refund. Like I get the, I get the, I get it. Um, I'm asking once more, so good grammar for you to kindly consider refunding this reservation. So kindly, so assuming like, hey, like this would be so nice of you to do. So like really, I guess it's more appealing to their altruistic values that they likely hold as Airbnb hosts. Most people want to believe we're good at heart and we have altruistic values. So I think I did a bang up job with this message. Um, I've been stuck inside a little too long too.